FX Factory is an advanced zero coding plugin development architecture. We all know that it includes incredible effects from noise industries as well as from third party developers. But one of its most unique features is the ability it gives its users to create, edit, and share their own plugins. The easiest way to illustrate this is to do a simple edit to an effects pack. For the sake of this demo, let's say that I find myself often adding a stack of multiple effects to my clips to get a desired look. For example, adding a two-tone colorization effect to the heat effect. Normally, my only choice would be to apply two separate filters to accomplish this. But because this plugin happens to be created with FX Factory, I can do better than that. In the FX Factory application, you can see the Create button on the top left. We could create a brand new effects pack right now, but editing an existing plugin will better demonstrate the workflow. The second button will open the effects pack that is selected. In this case, the FX Factory Pro plugins. The editing window appears and loads all of the effects within the effects pack. On the left, you can see the different plugins in the pack organized into their familiar groups. On the right, the Info tab is selected, and you can see some of the general info on the selected effect. An image preview, name, description, version, and even checkboxes for the different applications it will support. The Parameters tab includes all of the parameters you'd see in the effect in its host application. Clicking through some of the parameters, you'll see how they're set up for use. To the right of the list, there are options to change the behavior of these widgets inside the host application. For example, I can set a new value to change the range of the speed parameter of the heat plugin. To edit this effect, I'll click the Edit button up by the effect's name. The Quartz Composition application will launch if you have it installed. Usually it's an option when installing OS X's Xcode development tools. Insert your OS X install DVD if it asks you to do so. Quartz Composer is a node-based compositing engine at the heart of Mac OS X. It powers real-time animations and image processing via OpenGL and Core Image. These are the same technologies used by Motion and Aperture to perform high-quality, real-time effects on the GPU. The interface is node-based, which might be a familiar style of working for you if you've used applications like Shake or Color. In Quartz Composer, each node is called a patch. Multiple patches are connected together to produce the final output. Let's edit this composition to accomplish our original goal of adding a two-tone colorization to this effect. I'll begin by searching the list of available patches for False Color, a core image unit that applies a two-tone color adjustment. Next, I'll drag the False Color patch to the canvas and connect it. Then I'll feed the output of this patch to the remainder of the effect chain. Notice that the False Color patch contains two color inputs. I can change their value in the inspector window, but ideally, I should be able to change these parameters within the plugin in my host application, Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express, Motion, and After Effects. In order to do that, I will right-click on each input and publish it. Now Quartz Composer will let FX Factory know that we'd like these two color parameters to be customizable. Now that we've edited our effect in Quartz Composer, let's save it and return to FX Factory. A dialog box has appeared, noting that we've edited the heat effect with Quartz Composer. I'll click Apply Changes. Looking at the Parameters panel, we can see that FX Factory has added the two color parameters we published in Quartz Composer. Now there will be two additional controls in the user interface within the effect in the host application. To verify what we've done, let's save this effects pack and restart Final Cut Pro. I'll apply our heat plugin again. As you can see, we have access to the two new color parameters. You would see these two new parameters show up in all of the host applications, Final Cut Express, Motion, and After Effects as well. It's quite easy to make edits to effects packs and customize them however you'd like. And as you might have guessed, we've just scratched the surface of the powerful FX Factory interface for further editing and effect creation.